Hey YouTube, Wisconsin Shoe Guy here. Wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit today about uh, three things. Uh, first is what different types of shoes uh, you can get um, in uh, similar uh, styles or similar colors. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the Oxford, the Blucher, and the Derby. And then uh, I wanna talk a little bit about um, the quality of these shoes and then um, the age of the shoes, um, how you can determine age. Because uh, especially I know a lot of guys are looking out there in the used car, uh, shoe market, not, not car, and uh, you're always um, you know, curious as to you know, how old are the shoes and how can I tell if they've been recrafted, et cetera. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. So first, um, the difference between an Oxford and a Blucher. Here, when you look at this, this is an Oxford. And this has closed lacing, right? Uh, this is uh, your most formal of, of, of the shoes because it's an Oxford. Um, the broguing um, takes it down. Actually, putting a uh, darker color as a two-tone piece takes down the formality as well. But the broguing uh, takes the formality. And it's not just the broguing here, but the broguing up here as well. Uh, so you'll see that there are some that are like a uh, this style, which this is a youth throat. Uh, which is a component of an Adelaide. Some Adelaides have cap toes, some don't. Plain toes are generally more formal than uh, cap toes. Uh, but uh, as you look at this particular one, you know, it has a single leather sole. It has a, um, a close welt, meaning that if the welt sticks out, that actually makes it less formal. And, um, you know, it's... Uh, um, it's a very plain looking shoe, which makes it more formal. So this is basically a whole cut because it's made out of one piece of leather all the way around to the back, except for this part, which is the youth throat that is sewn in. So interesting. Um, that's one of the, the hallmarks of a good Adelaide. And uh, this is an Oxford again, because it's closed lacing. Okay? And when you look at that compared to this, which is a blucher, this has open lacing. So you'll see here, this is a piece that's actually sewn on on the outside uh, that does the uh, that does the lacing. Now you can see that this is just the one piece that's sewn on and it's not attached all the way to the back. Um, and so that's what the difference is between a blucher and a derby. Although I've got to be candid, um, that term is probably misused uh, way more often than not. So uh, not, a, uh, not a big deal, but something to think about. Now this is also a single, um, single oak leather sole, but this sticks out quite a bit, so it's less formal. And this is a wing tip, so it's it's less formal, and it's a long wing, which is, um, you know, there's arguments whether or not long wings are more formal than short wings, or less formal than short wings. Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot of that has to do with the fact that most of the long wings have double soles, uh, and this just has a single sole. You can tell that if you look really closely, uh, you can see the welt line here, and then you see the sole itself, which is actually very thick on this model. Sometimes they'll have thinner soles as well. But this is uh, this is an Allen Edmonds McGregor, um, you know, great shoe, and uh, that's how it's designed. Now the last one here is a Derby, and this is a. You can tell that this part of the lacing actually comes down here and is sewn all the way to the back. So this is really, you know, three pieces. This is this piece, this piece, and then this piece with the tongue. Um, and the, um, the top of the, uh, the vamp here uh, is a different piece. So, you know, this apron is the piece that's here, and you can see this is sewn on. It's a very nice hand stitch there. And uh, this also has a single sole. Uh, this one is rubber, uh, which makes it less formal, but this is a day-night sole, which is um, more formal than, say, a commando sole. Um, so something to think about there. Uh, you got the two tones on the heel that, again, makes it a little less formal, more stylistic, though. Uh, so, so things to consider. Now, let's talk a little bit about age. When, when folks are looking at shoes, um, the easiest thing to look at for age is the logo. So how do you find the logo and, and where do you see it? Um, the logo is on the inside of the shoe. Uh, but with an old shoe like this might be hard to find. Here you can see it, it's kind of coming through the light, but this particular one has it here as well, which is hard, hard to see, but it's actually two lines. 
So this is Allen Edmonds. Now, first of all, anything that has the patch in here is, is relatively old because they stopped doing that a couple years ago. Um, and I don't know the exact date when, but uh, my new Allen Edmonds don't have that. Uh, this pair, um, so this, these, I bought these, oh uh, gosh, 12 years ago. These are on their second set of soles. So um, day-night soles don't actually say Allen Edmonds on them. If they're leather soles, uh, they will say Allen Edmonds on them. And here you can see the logo on the sole as well. If you look on the inside here, you'll see it says Allen Edmonds, but it's one line instead of two. So that is a, a pretty clear difference. Uh, but you'll see here, when you look at the Allen Edmonds on the sole, it has the logo here, and they didn't do that. When I started buying Allen Edmonds, they didn't do this at all. So that's, uh, you know, another difference. So difference there. Now, I, I've shown these um, uh, these shoes before. They need to be resold. Um, this is one of my three pairs that uh, is on my list to be re resold. But I wore them this week. They were completely comfortable, uh, not feeling like a, a, it's as urgent as I originally thought. Now, these are my newest pair. Um, meaning I just bought them, but when I actually opened them up, the age of them is actually older than I thought when I bought them. Uh, you can see here, uh, it, it has the patch, which of course means that it's a few years old. And it has the old logo as well, it has the, the logo here. And then the new ones, it says Alan Edmonds, you know, this way. Um, and here you can see um, it's, uh, you know, it's a single line with the shield and, uh, it says the model number below it too, but, uh, definitely an older logo. So that is how you can tell. Um, you can also see here. Now this is an interesting thing. If you look at the font here and the way that this is hammered into the shoe and you compare that with this one, um, it is a little different. This is a factory second, this is a factory first. Um, you'll see that the color is also slightly different, but I would say that's mostly due to age. Um, the, uh, the font is, uh, that's pretty darn close. I would say that, that it's a little smaller um, on this one, so that would be another way to age. So just interesting things to think about and when you're looking at your shoes. Hope that uh, was helpful, and this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. And this is part of my walnut rotation, and I am signing up.